Humanity's journey beyond Earth is a significant event for the whole world. Though despite the importance of space exploration, it occurs quite rarely. The last time America successfully launched a shuttle with people on board was back in the year 2011. But when SpaceX began developing manned spacecraft, the world froze in anticipation. Is Elon Musk capable of doing what everyone's been waiting for? Yes. And this is what came of it. As I said, America's last space mission took place in the year 2011. At this time, the ship Atlantis went into low Earth orbit on the mission STS-135. There were four astronauts on board. They were only in space for 13 days. More than four tons of payload was delivered to the ISS, after which the crew returned to Earth. A long time has passed since then. Until May 2020, only expeditions from Russia and China had been sent outside of our planet. Why not from the US? There were various problems, equipment failure, financial problems, insufficient technology. But finally, the team up of NASA and SpaceX led to a breakthrough. On May 30th, the Crew Dragon was successfully launched. On the 31st of May, it docked with the ISS. These events can be considered as truly historic. SpaceX Demo-2 is the first manned flight to the ISS performed by a private aircraft. Of course, there have been attempts at doing something similar before. For example, by Virgin Galactic. In the year 2018, the VSS Unity VP-03 suborbital spaceflight with two pilots on board reached an altitude of 82.7 kilometers or 51.4 miles. By U.S. standards, space starts at around the mark of 80.47 kilometers or 50 miles. Good job, but alas, not by global standards. The spacecraft didn't reach high enough to garner worldwide fame. Therefore, the title of the new Conqueror of Space has been granted to the Crew Dragon. The Demo-2 mission also faced difficulties. The initial launch of a manned ship into space was planned for July 2019. But when testing the Super Draco engines, there was an accident. The test was very important. The engines were part of the emergency rescue system. But when they were activated, an explosion occurred which led to the destruction of the return capsule. Of course, after the incident, SpaceX and NASA conducted an investigation. It turned out that the failure occurred just 100 milliseconds before the engines were ignited. The source of the problem was the fuel system. And immediately after the incident, work was carried out to improve its design. Despite a failed test in April, it was successful in November. And in January 2020, a final in-flight abort test was passed. Then there were several more important tests and they assigned it different launch dates. And finally, something happened that not only NASA and SpaceX, but the whole world had been waiting for for so long. The Crew Dragon went into orbit using a Falcon 9 launch vehicle in the latest Block 5 modification. Interestingly, the launch took place from the legendary launch complex LC-39A. It was from here that Apollo 11 set for the lunar mission and many other space shuttles took off. Symbolic, don't you think? And now it's time to learn something about the team of the Crew Dragon. Who are these brave people who decided on such an incredible feat? While the original maximum capacity of the ship is five people, only two went into space. NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Behnken are not just a lucky few. These are real professionals. Each of them has already had two flights. Hurley has spent a total of 28 days and 11 hours in space while Benkin has spent 29 days and 12 hours in space. It's planned that the astronauts will stay on the space station from 30 to 119 days. 
This is not yet comparable to the achievements of some members of the ISS crew, but it is possible that the mission will last longer. What if they become new record holders? One way or another, it will be time to return to Earth. Despite the sophisticated design of modern aircraft, accidents sometimes occur. And of course, NASA doesn't want to lose its astronauts. As I said earlier, the ship's emergency landing system has been successfully tested. Therefore, in case of problems and in general for its descent, the Crew Dragon is equipped with special parachutes. With their help, the ship's capsule will be able to land in the Atlantic Ocean. The first launch attempt on the 27th of May didn't take place, precisely for safety reasons. The weather was bad that day. This upset everyone who had been waiting for the countdown. But for the sake of saving the astronauts' lives, can't we wait? In addition, NASA calculated the probability of losing the crew. It was only 1 in 276, which is a very small number. By the way, unlike shuttles, the flight of the Crew Dragon takes place in automatic mode. However, the crew is able to take control in an emergency situation. What's next for SpaceX? What happens when the spacecraft successfully completes the mission and returns to Earth? This flight will be the last test of the Crew Dragon's strength. If the device reaches the end, SpaceX and NASA will begin preparing for the full operation of the ships. Simply put, the Crew Dragon will become fully certified. It'll be used as transport to replace ISS crew members. The Russian Soyuz spacecraft is currently engaged in delivering astronauts into orbit, and it will probably have an assistant very soon. If the mission is successful, the next manned flight will take place on August 30th, 2020. A Crew Dragon ship will be sent with a four-person configuration. This time, three Americans and a representative of the Japanese space agency JAXA will be on board. The mission is planned to last 210 days. At the moment, there are no plans to reuse Crew Dragon ships for crewed flights. After the necessary repairs, they'll be used to transport cargo. But this isn't the end of NASA's ambitious plans. The next launch of a manned ship is planned for 2021, and it will be the Crew Dragon again. It'll take four astronauts to the ISS, where they'll spend about six months. And another mission, also set for 2021, would not be complete without the participation of this ship. But this time, a pilot from Axiom Space with three space tourists will go into Earth's orbit. And in late 2021, they plan to launch the Crew Dragon without astronauts on board. This flight will be fully paid for by tourists, while the ship will be operated autonomously. At the end of the video, I've left some interesting facts on the historic launch of the Crew Dragon. The broadcast of the spacecraft's flight was the second largest broadcast in the history of YouTube. At the peak moment, in the fourth minute of launch, more than four million people were watching the stream on the SpaceX channel at the same time. But Elon Musk has outdone himself here. You can say that one of his devices took the title of the most viewed from another. The broadcast of the Falcon Heavy launch at the peak moment was watched by about 2,300,000 people. Do you now understand what SpaceX is truly capable of? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Click on the bell to receive timely notifications about the release of new, interesting videos that are waiting for you ahead.